Hello, all you wonderful people out in YouTube land, and welcome to the Dollar Store Pour. Thank you so much for joining me. It is a beautiful day to paint, so let's go ahead and get to it. So as I'm sure you probably already noticed, you see uh, something, not something you'd normally see on a canvas. Uh, this little cutie, of course, is Wendy, my ball python. Or uh, in other parts of the world, they'll call them royal pythons. Uh, some of you probably already knew that. And for those of you who are familiar with ball pythons, you'll recognize that she's not just your standard or, or regular ball python. She's what's called a pastel. And basically all that means is that there's far more emphasis on the yellows and golds. So she's a, a much brighter snake as a result uh, compared to a, a regular ball python. And so she is the inspiration for the colors I'm going to be using today on today's painting. Uh, there's some white, some yellow, some gold, some light brown, some darker brown, and a little bit of black. So I'm just going to put her around my neck while I do this. I don't think she'd like to have paint splattered on her. <clears throat> She'll just hang out. So I've got white, which is just white paint uh, with a little bit of water. Uh, the black has water with hmm, alcohol. The yellow also has alcohol. The light brown has the, let's see, what did I use? Oh yeah, the uh, leather waterproofing stuff. The darker brown has uh, the baby oil. And then the gold... What did I use in the gold? I believe I used more alcohol in the gold. So let's go ahead and see what we get here. And as per usual, when I'm running low on paint, I'll just pour it straight from the, um, the container. And now some yellow. And as far as what they're called, as I mentioned, they're either ball or, depending on what part of the world you're in, they're ball pythons or royal pythons. Uh, the reason they're called either, um, ball python is far more prevalent in North America. And they're called that because uh, when in danger, what they'll do is curl themselves up in a ball and, uh, and hide their head and protect their head. Now, in other parts of the world, this originated, uh, from what I'm told, mostly from Africa. As far as being called royal pythons, I, I like the story about royal pythons far more. Because why they're called royal pythons, the royalty in Africa would actually wear ball pythons, or royal pythons, as jewelry. Which is really neat. And I've heard that Cleopatra herself, uh, you know, renowned throughout history for her beauty would wear them uh, as bracelets. Which to me is a, uh, a far more romantic name and reason than just to call them ball pythons. That's just kind of literal. All right. So I'm also going to do a few other spots here and there. black on that. Not a whole lot of black. Normally with uh, with ball pythons there would be, uh, they are a much darker snake, far more emphasis on the, um, the browns, the dark browns, but as I said where she's a pastel uh, there's far more emphasis on the golds and yellows. I'm getting lots of gold, lots of yellow. And there are actually a, a very, very popular snake um, in the pet trade for various reasons. Uh, they're fairly small. They're the smallest of the Af... Oh, I should mention they do come from Africa. And they're the smallest of the African pythons. 
Uh, they are known to be, generally speaking, uh, very, very docile, very calm snakes. That certainly has been my experience. Uh, I actually have three of them. And I uh, can certainly say that of all three, very calm, very docile snakes. I've never gotten bit yet, knock on wood. But I, uh, I suspect if I were, the bite would probably hurt about that. Even, even someone as large as her uh, would probably hurt about as much as a kitten. It, it would not hurt much. And they would really only bite for a couple of different reasons, of which pretty much which all would be my fault if she did. Um, might be a, a feed reflex response. Maybe because she's really hungry and I've got some food or she smells food. Or uh, because she's really scared or stressed out. And in that case, if I see that, I should just, you know, back off and give her her space. There are about 5,000, over 5,000 actually, different color variations when it comes to the ball pythons. Um, it's all the same body shape. Uh, they're a very broad bodied snake with a diamond shaped head. It's all just in the colors and the patterns, which are referred to as morphs. And to the best of my knowledge, and I could be mistaken, but to the best of my knowledge, when it comes to any other snake, uh, they've got more varieties, more different morphs uh, than any other snake uh, there is uh, in nature or in, in the pet trade. Let's get a little more yellow going. loved snakes since I was a kid. I used to be out catching garter snakes and and such and I guess as I got bigger the snakes I liked got bigger as well. Uh, not that they're giant snakes as I mentioned the smallest of the African um, African pythons. Uh, the the largest has been about five five and a half I think feet and the longest lived uh, I was about 47 and a half years old, if I recall correctly. And she, I, I believe what they said it was a she, I don't recall. I apologize. Um, she actually died in 1992, and she was at the Philadelphia Zoo. Okay, all the yellow and gold is all used up. So I think I'm just about ready to go here. torch at this time. It's a rare occurrence for me. Try to get better at that. Ooh. All right, so let's get that rocking and rolling. Full coverage. Not seeing any cells forming, but that's all right. No, I guess maybe I do feel a, a, see a few cells. 
but it's all good. Takes care of that corner. Just one last little bit. Boy, it's really resisting being covered up. Oh, almost got it, almost got it. And there we go. And just a tiny bit more in that little corner. here like usual always want to get uh, full coverage and it's easy enough I just drag my fingers in the paint that has dripped off the sides which of course there is always plenty of that just because I do see some cells for me and if I retorch it that should uh, help those to pop out at the very least it'll get rid of those air bubbles this sit a little bit give it about a half an hour I'm gonna go put Wendy away I don't know if she's all that interested in seeing the finished product or not and we'll be back in about a half an hour all right so it's been uh, about a half an hour and well maybe a few cells here and there fairly small but that's all right overall. I definitely like how that looks. All right, so that's going to do it for me. I uh, hope you liked what you saw. If you did, go ahead and throw a like my way. It would be greatly appreciated. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Uh, thank you again for watching. And from Wendy and myself, uh, we'll see all you wonderful people next time.